Okay, it's not my decision, but here's, here's one more. Uh, I do life with a sky, I haven't done that one for a while. This is about like, well, you'll see in a minute, I'm going to tell the poem. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like the foot falls in the stars, I'm like the avalanche, and my dad was my age, he was farming tea in Afghanistan. He sat me down and said, Son, you're going to be the greatest man alive. He was farming tea in Afghanistan. He sat me down, he told me, Child, words cut hearts in half in ways that daggers can't. That's why I'm standing solemnly watching fools doing the braggers dance. Look, I know they don't stand a chance against themselves if no one else. Lost in their own silliness and trickery. Yes, they're thinking they're rebelling, but really their hearts are rickety. They're just caught up in this system and exhibiting complicity. Meanwhile, the days are getting dense like ancient forestry because they feed us lies that clog our throats until we choke on this hypocrisy. Parading this fictional democracy, Till we get lost in this monotony, this climate of controversy and blame fills the air like it's nitrogen particles. And all these pixelated faces don't love nothing but their hatred. That's why nothing here is sacred, but I swear it's simple if you make it. They have designated spaces, told us enter where the gate is. Lives are wasted, caught in stasis, and all that's true can be negated. That's why we need to make it basic again. We need to get educated, not in a class, no, but in that which fills the heart with sparks. They don't ask nothing but acknowledgement every once in a while, please. I leave them speechless, like a mute in a monologue. A lot of people pushing piety, honour me to honour God. Really, they have wandered off the path into iniquity. I mean, I've seen the devil rub his mitts with glee and visualise his victory. While men become monsters, mortified by misery, and women become woe-begotten figures acting wickedly. Our souls are all disfigured by the horrors of our history. Cause we inflict the injury, then we demand the sympathy. But I remain constant in the face of volatility, and that's why there's so many who seem to have it in for me. <laughs> I don't respond predictably. I try to react with dignity. I carve my curses into paper using calligraphy. Yeah. Cause my life is the life of the scribe. I write constant. A lot of people write a lot of nonsense, but I write the world, I write the rights, I write the wrongs and I write me, and I do this heavily. I've tried, I cannot do this lightly, and whatever they might not like me, but they can't get inside the heart of an ancient scribe who writes nightly and daily. I have the right to stop me going crazy, and I do it well, but still they turn around and go like, yeah, you're pretty good for a lady. <laughs> it's a pain in the ass. Basically, I get confronted by inferior rappers. We lack eloquence. Who brandish strange amounts of pride given their irrelevance. Don't get me wrong. When I meet good lyrics, I greet the speakers with reverence. But all these shit MCs are just insulting my intelligence. <laughs> because I know the rap should come naturally imbued with their own elegance. Mate, you shouldn't have to try so hard and still show no developments. <laughs> I strive for perfection. Like the style of five elements and the brandish broad eagles and they don't display benevolence. Cause round my way, tortured souls are freaking out and jumping off the tenements. Drowning in the lyrics that they wrote in which they never sent, sitting in the misery like pigs in the excrement. Summoning salvation from the sermons of the testament. I make my testament heartfelt, although it's hesitant. My heart melts and becomes derelict and I wonder where the tenors went. Oh yeah, I spend them at the bar. Fuck it, I vent it till the breath is rent from chest. Cause I'm at one with the text I produce. Believe me, I have been searching for my truth from kid to adolescent to youth. I'm a young woman now and I'm moving through the bleakness because I know the first part of strength is knowing your own weakness and then holding your own weakness and nursing it to solid. See, I've been called a lot of names from a prick to a prophet. You know how people love to gossip. <laughs> what I get from it is deep. So pen to pad like sea to beach. I speak on beach just to keep my dreams in reach. And yes, my life is the life of the scribe. I do write constant. A lot of fuckers do write a lot of nonsense. Yeah. But I write the world, I write the wrongs, I write the rights, and I write me, and I do it fucking all the time. I can't do it right <laughs> no, They might not like me, but they can't get inside the heart of an ancient scribe who writes nightly and daily. I have to write to stop me going crazy. Hopefully one day they're gonna be like, yeah, that was pretty good, instead of, yeah, 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 that was all right for me. <laughs>